In the previous tutorial, we created a spring. Now, let's animate it. We already have our spring, so let's add a cube. Move it above the spring. Duplicate the cube and move it below the spring. Select the top cube, add a rigid body, and set the type to passive. Do the same for the bottom cube, but keep it as active. If you play now, the bottom cube will fall. Next, connect both cubes together. Go to object right pointing arrow rigid body right pointing arrow connect. A new constraint appears. Scale it up so we can see it clearly. With the constraint selected, go to the physics tab and choose generic spring. In the linear section, enable the z-axis. Now the cubes act like a spring. It's time to animate our original spring. Select the spring, go to the modifier tab, and in the screw section add a driver. For the driver, choose z location as type, and select the bottom cube as the object. Add a minus before var to make the spring stretch. Divide var by the iteration's value for correct scaling. Rotate or reposition the spring if needed. If the bottom cube merges inside, just apply transform to fix it. Our spring animation is ready. Party popper now, in the physics tab of the constraint, tweak the stiffness and damping values to get different results. Right finger and that's how you bring your spring to life in Blender.